<laughs> We're recording. Just checking. Okay, would you like me to go over some of the, for this, the the way we're doing it digitally, some of the things where we need to make sure we do? Yes. Okay. So boys and girls, uh, when we are doing the spelling of words, please make sure since not everybody's uh, internet is the same speed, make sure you're spelling the word slowly and clearly. That way we can hear each letter. And if you do, if we do need you to repeat it because we didn't hear it or there was some internet issue, please know that doesn't mean you automatically got it wrong. It just means we might not have heard it. We want to hear you spell the word again. Try to the best of your ability to say it the exact same way that you had said it when we didn't hear it, okay? So if you spell bug, B-U-G, and we say we didn't hear it, don't change it to B-I-G or anything other. Just keep it the same. Um, that might happen if, we, if the audio cuts out, so then just be aware of that. Other things that you need to know when you're spelling the word, I'll call your name saying that, okay, it's, it's your next. So for example, I'll say first is Jonathan, and then I'll say the word. And if there are any words that sound very similar to that word. So for example, uh, leg and peg, they're sort of similar. So I'll say there's a near homonym. That's not really a near homonym. But if there's a word that has a homonym, I'll, I'll let you know. So in that case, it's a good idea to ask what is the definition of the word. So that way you don't spell the wrong word accidentally. And you, you know, I'm sure you know all of these. These are in the rules that you already had. Um, so you can ask for definition of a word. Can't ask for the spelling, I was going to say. Um, you could ask, if you needed to, the see spelling no not spelling. <laughs> definition yeah, of the definition word and in a sentence yeah and use it in a sentence okay um in addition to that if you get a word wrong we'll say sorry that's incorrect and then please stay till the end of the round and then at the end of the round that's when you'll leave OK, because remember, if everybody gets a if everybody gets a word wrong, like if everybody spells chair wrong, then after everybody's gotten that word wrong and there's nobody left, then we restart and we spell a different word. So don't leave as soon as you as soon as we say incorrect. If everyone gets it incorrect, you're back in. Uh, we will go over the final B rules when we get down to the last two people. Um, at this point, I guess I should ask, are there any questions about the rules? Anything that I went over that needs clarification? No? Looks like we lost somebody. Did we lose somebody? You okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. You. He's, he's back. Okay. Let me see, we should have eight. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've only, okay, Yuke's back, eight. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, I think we, when we did the attendance, we kind of, everybody, we got a sense for everybody's audio pretty much working. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the only other thing I wanted to mention, boys and girls, is because we are not standing right in front of one another, it's important that you try to get spelling quickly after you've heard the words. So that way, there's not too much of a delay. Um, also, just because this, the way that we're presenting at this time takes a little longer. Okay. So try to start spelling within, was it 15 or 10? Did we say a reasonable amount of seconds, right? 10 within 10, I think. Okay. Uh, the only other thing is if there is a reason for us to have a conference, I'll stay with you guys. I'll stay with everybody in this. And then the judges will go to a breakout room and they'll discuss things privately and then they'll come back and private message me with anything that they need me to address. Okay. All right, everybody, we're going to get started. First up, uh, Jonathan, is your camera working? There we go. Okay. Jonathan, there you go. <laughs> your word is gel. It has a homonym, gel. Gel, G-E-L, gel. Thank you, that's correct. 
Next is Ved. Sorry, Mr. Gross, can I just interrupt real quick? Yeah. Well, girls, I, I like that we're muting and unmuting, but make sure you wait until he tells you whether you're wrong or right to mute again. Okay, because if you mute yourself and we can't hear you, that's not good. Okay, so keep it unmuted until he says you're correct or that's incorrect, and then you mute yourself again. Okay, and um, I don't know whether I said this already, but Jonathan, that's the correct way of saying it. Say the word, spell the word, say the word again. If you don't say the word again, I don't know that you're done spelling. Okay, so you have to say the word after you spell it. All right, next is Ved. Ved, your word is train. T-R-A-I-N, train. Okay, I'm not sure if it cut out in the beginning. Um, is that good? That's Mark that? Okay. All right, that's correct. Please make sure when you're unmuting, wait a second. So that way we can definitely hear you say the word before you start spelling it, okay? All right. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, next is Arohan. Is that the correct pronunciation? I'm Okay. Yes. Okay. Arohan, your word has a near homonym, meaning it's a word that sounds sort of like it. Your word is sport. The near homonym is sport, but your word is sport. Sport. S-P-O-R-T. Sport. That's correct. Next is Abivir in fourth grade. Abivir, your word is eel. 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 E E L. Eel. That's correct. Next is Yug. Is Yug. Yes. Your word is fans. 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 Can you put it in a sentence? Yes. The fans erupted into applause and cheering after their quarterback threw their the winning touchdown. Fans. F A. N S fans. That's correct. Next is Suma. Suma, your word is tall. 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 T A L L. Tall. That's correct. Next is Jemuel. Jamuel. Oh, sorry, I'm, I mispronounced that. Okay, Jamuel, is that correct? Jamuel? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jamuel, your word is better. Better. B E T T E R. Better. That's correct. Next is Vaishvik. I'm pronouncing that right? Yes. Okay. Your word is hit. Hit. Um, can I have the definition? Yes. To strike something such as a ball with an object such as a bat, club, or racket so as to impart a redirect motion. Part hit. eight or redirect motion. Sorry. Hit. H I T. Hit. That's correct. Okay. So that's the end of round one, right? Okay. At this time, uh, judges, do you need me to do anything? Nope. Keep going. Okay. All right. On in round two. Jonathan. 
Your word is peanut. 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 P E N A U T. Peanut. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Next is ved. Your word is peanut. P E A N U T. Peanut. That's correct. Uh, ved, please make sure you say the word before. I don't know if it's getting cut off through the mic. No, no, you, you already spelled it. It's, it's okay. Um, just in the future, press unmute, wait a couple seconds, and then say the word, spell the word, say the word. Okay? I think the email is striked. Sorry, what? I think um, the audio made it so you can't hear it. That's what I'm guessing, yeah. So just uh, wait a couple seconds before you start. Okay, next is Arohan. Your word Okay, got it. Your word is bite. It has a homonym. The word is bite. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Chester hoped there would be time for a quick bite before the movie started. Bite. B-I-T-E. Bite. Correct. Abivir, you're next. Your word is noon. Noon. N-O-O-N. -O -O -N. Noon. That's correct. Next is Yug. Yes. All right. It says that this word could be confused with a similar word. I'll say the word, then provide the part of speech and definition. The word is gummy, uh, which means sticky. And let's see, where's... It's an adjective. Does it say that on there? Yeah. Okay, so the word is gummy. Gummy. G U M M Y. Gummy. Correct. Suma, your word is ray. Ray. R A Y. Ray. That's correct. Next is Jamwell. Did I get that wrong again? Let me. No, where was that? Right. Okay, Jamwell. Okay. Um, your word is mops. 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 M O P S. Mops. That's correct. Next is Vaishvik. Your word is thanks. 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 T H A N K S. Thanks. That's correct. All right. So that is the end of round two. At this time, I believe, Jonathan, you can sign out. Did Jonathan sign out already? Looks okay. like he left already. Okay. All right. So a reminder, wait till the end of the round just in case. Um, but we will move on to round three. Anything I need to change? Nope. Keep going. Okay. Okay. First up is ved. Your word is dash. 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 D a s h h dash. Can I ask him to repeat that? I it got cut off for me. Um, Ved, can you repeat that, please? Please say the word 
spell the word and then say the word again. Okay. Same as you just did. Okay. Dash. D A S H. Dash. Okay. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the next, next word. Oh, okay. Arohan, your word. Your next. Your word is skin. Skin. Can you use, can you use in a sentence? Yes. The skin of the pomegranate came apart with a juicy, satisfying crack. Skin. Skin. S K I N. Skin. That's correct. Next is Abivir. Your word is star. 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 S T A R. Star. That's correct. Next is Yug. Your word is began. Began. Can you um, tell a definition? Yes. It's a verb which means performed or executed the first part of an action, activity, or procedure. Began. Began. B E G A N. Began. That's correct. Okay, so that was you. Okay, Suma is next. Suma, your word has a homonym. So I'll say the word and the definition. The word is day, the time of light or interval between one night and the next. Day. Day. D A Y. Day. That's correct. Jamwell, I keep forgetting whether I've said it correct. Is that correct? Last time I promised. Yeah, that's correct. Jamwell. That's correct. All right. Okay. Your word is upset. 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 Oh. Upset. U P S E T. Upset. That's correct. Vaishvik, your word has, it has a homonym, so I'll say the word and then the, I'll give the part of speech and definition. Your word is father. It's a noun and it means a man who has begotten a child, a male parent, father. Father, F-A-T-H-E-R, father. That's correct. That's the end of round three. We're going to move on to round four at this point. Okay. Uh, Ved, your word, remember to pause after you unmute, your word is suffer, suffer. Suffer, S U F F E R. Suffer. That's correct. Next, Rohan, your word is double, double. Double, D O U. B L E double. That's correct. Next is Abivir. Your word is watch. Watch. Can you go into a sentence, please? Yes. Ben decided to stay hidden in the tree and watch for any signs of movement. Watch. Watch, W-A-T-C, 
H. Watch. That's correct. Next is Yug. Your word is dream. Dream. Can you put in a sentence? In the morning, Marcus could remember every part of his crazy dream from the talking worm to the rain of toothpaste. Dream. Dream. D R E A M. Dream. That's correct. Next is Suma. Suma, your word is beans. 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 B E A N S. Beans. That's correct. Next is Jimwell. The word has a homonym, so I will give the part of speech and the definition. The word is child. It's a noun, and it means a young person of either sex, especially between infancy and youth. Child. Child. That's correct. Next is Vaishvik. Your word is space. 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 S P A C E. Space. That's correct. With that, we finish round four. Okay, moving on to round five. Ved, your word is shambles. 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 S H A. M B L E S Shambles. That's correct. Next is Arohan. Your your word is. Hold on one second. Okay, your word is. Tail light. Tail light. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Luckily, no one was hurt in the accident, but the fender was drooping and one tail light was cracked. Tail light. Tail light. T A I L L I G H T. Tail light. That's correct. Next is Abivir. Your word is quicken. 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 Q U I C K E N. Quicken. That's correct. Yug. Your word has a homonym, so I will say the word and then the part of speech and definition. The word is presence. It's a noun and it means the state of being in one place and not elsewhere. The fact of being in company, attendance, or association. Presence. Presence. P R E S E N C E. Presence. That's correct. Next, that was Yug Suma. Your word 
has a near homonym. So I'll say the word and then the part of speech and definition. Your word is raz. It's a verb and it means to tease and banter at, to ridicule, raz. Raz, R-A-Z-Z, -Z. raz. That's correct. Next, Jamwell, your word is followed, followed. Followed, F-O-L-L-O-W-E-D, followed. That's correct. Vaishvik, your word is purple, purple. Purple, P-U-R-P-L-E, purple. That's correct. With that, we're done with round five, right? Is that round five? Okay, so we're moving on to round six now. Okay. Bed, your word has a homonym. Does it? I guess it does. Okay. Uh, so I will say the word, then give the words part of speech and a definition. The word is Canada. It is a geographical entry, and it means country of northern North America between the Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic Oceans, including Newfoundland and the Arctic Islands north of the mainland, Canada. C-A-N-A-D-A, -A -A, Canada? Uh, I'm going to ask judges, could you confer on that one? And then just uh, send me private message. Ms. Walters, can you throw us in a room real quick? Does he have to have the capital letter? Because oh. he didn't. You're muted. Oh, no. 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 War is muted. Is it still muted? Oh, there you go. Okay. Talk to the contestants or participants, whatever. Um, when we do have a, when I say that the judges are conferencing and you get a, uh, that the invite is only for uh, judges to go discuss that. So contestants, you don't need to go to the discussion thing. Okay. All right, and uh, so we're good, good to go? Okay, all right, we will go on to the next word, so that would be correct. I was unsure of that, uh, what they said about that rule. Thank you. Okay, that was Ved, next Arohan. Your word has a near homonym, so I will say the word, then give the part of speech and the definition. Your word is Bison. It is a noun and it means any of several large, shaggy maned, usually bovine mammals having a large head with short horns and heavy forequarters surmounted by a large fleshy lump formed by the withers. Bison. Bison. B I S O N. Bison. Correct. Abivir, your word is dangerous, dangerous. Can you put into a sentence, please? Yes. Swimming with sharks can be very dangerous depending on the species, dangerous. 
Dangerous. D A N G E R O U S. Dangerous. Correct. Yug, your Yug, word. Your can be confused with a similar word. I'll say the word, then provide the words part of speech and definition. The word is pluck. It could be confused with plug, and it means to pull out or to pull or pick off or out. To gather by picking. Pluck. Pluck. P L U C K. Pluck. Correct. Suma, your word is squid. 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 S Q U I D. Squid. Correct. Jimwell. Your word is frisbee. 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 Capital F R I S B E E. Frisbee. Correct. Vaishvik, your word has a homonym. I'll say the word and then the part of speech and definition. The word is teeter. It's a verb, and it means to move unsteadily. Teeter. Teeter. T-E-E-T-E-R. Teeter. Correct. That's the end of round six. We're going to move on to round seven. Ved, your word is... And it has a homonym, so I'll say the word and the part of speech and definition. Your word is rallies. It means, it's a verb, and it means recaptures initiative, comes back, used especially of an athletic contestant or team. Rallies. R-A-L-L-Y-S. Rallies. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Arohan, your word is rally. Oh, actually, um, Miss Walters. Uh, you just go to the next word. Next word. Okay. All right. Okay, Arohan, your word is pastry. Pastry. Can you put it in a sentence, please? Yes. Sybil always knows where to find the most delectable pastry. 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 P-A-S-T-R-Y. Pastry. That's correct. Abivir, your word is coveralls. Coveralls. Could you put the word into a sentence, please? The skilled car mechanic wore coveralls at work to protect his regular clothes. Coveralls. Can I have the definition, please? Yeah. Coveralls, an, a plural noun which means an outer garment worn to protect other garments, especially one-piece combinations of overalls and shirts. Coveralls. Coveralls. C-O-V-E-R-A-L-L-S. Coveralls. That is correct. Next is Yug. Your word is ponytail. Ponytail. Can I have the definition? Yes, it's a style of hairdressing in which the hair is arranged to resemble the tail of a horse. Ponytail. 
ponytail. P O N Y T A I L. Ponytail. Correct. Next is Suma. Your word is clatter. 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 C L A T T E R. Clatter. Correct. Jemwell, your word could be confused with a similar word. I'll say the word and then provide the part of speech and definition. Your word is snout. Snout. It's a noun and it means the long projecting nose of any of various mammals such as swine. Snout. Snout. S N O U T. Snout. That's correct. Vaishvik, your word is tumbling. Tumbling. Tumbling? Um, can I add the definition? Yeah. The skill, practice, or sport of executing gymnastic feats of rolling and turning. Tumbling. Tumbling. T U M B L I N G. Tumbling. That's correct. At this time, we're finished with round six, or was that seven? That was seven. We're going to take um, a brief pause as well mm -hmm. um, for the judges, so we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so boys and girls, going forward, what we're going to do um, for the next rounds until um, the end of the spelling bee what you're gonna do when you hear your name, you are gonna put your hands on your shoulders, okay? So until we say that your turn, is, when Mr. Gross says that is correct or that is incorrect, that is when you'll take your hands down. So you, the entire time it is your turn, your hands will go on your shoulders. That is the best way for um, everyone to know that you are being the most honest during this spelling bee, okay? All right, we're gonna continue with round eight. Okay, round eight, and I believe, let's see. Okay, so we are starting with a Rohan. Yes, okay. Round eight. The word you have, a Rohan, is cradle. 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 C R A D L E. Cradle. That's correct. Abivir, your word is firefly. 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 F I R E F L Y. Firefly. Correct. And uh, judges, if, if you need me to pause, just uh, send me a private message. And I'll I'll pause well before the next one. Next is Yug. Is Yug. Your word has two spellings. Either of the two spellings would be correct. Your word is humor. 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 H U. M O U R humor. Correct. Next is Suma. Your word is mention. Mention. Can you hear her? No, sorry, I can't hear you yet. Suma, could you test your mic real quick and just see if we can hear you? Try muting yourself and then unmuting yourself. I would have her log out and then log back in. Like e exit the Zoom and then come back in. Um, okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear you. Okay, so 
Uh, your word, Suma, was mention. Mention. M E N T I O N. Mention. Correct. Jemwell, your word could be confused with a similar word, so I will say the word, provide the part of speech and definition. Your word is spoken, an adjective which means expressed, told, or delivered by word of mouth. Spoken. Spoken. S-P-O-K-E-N. Spoken. Correct. Vaishvik, your word is also could be confused with a similar word. I'll say it then the definition and part of speech. Your word is bridge, a noun which means a structure built over a depression or an obstacle to travel, such as a river, chasm, roadway, or railroad, carrying a continuous pathway or roadway, as for pedestrians, automobiles, or trains. Bridge. Bridge. B R I D G E bridge. Correct. At this point, we'll move on to round eight, I believe. I think it's nine now. Round nine. Oh, I'll move now. Okay, got it. Thank you. The next word, and this is for Arohan. Your word is whimper. Whimper. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Frightened by the storm, the puppy began to whimper. 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 W-I-M-P-E-R. Whimper. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Okay, go to next word, right? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. Abivir, your word is bracelet. 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 B R A C E L E T. Bracelet. Correct. Yug, your word is inwardly. 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 I N W A R D L Y. Inwardly. Correct. Suma, your word could be confused with a similar word. I'll say the word, give the part of speech and definition. Your word is mobility. It's a noun which means the capacity or facility of movement. Move ability. Mobility is your word. Mobility. Mobility. M O B I L I T Y. Mobility. Correct. Gemwell, your word is Eddie. 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 E. D, D, Y, Eddie. That's correct. Next is Vaishvik. Your word is fanged. 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 F A N G E D. Fanged. Correct. <laughs> With that, we end round 10. Okay, are we good to move on to round 10, right? Okay. Or was that round 10? Which one? This is round 10. This is starting round 10. This one. Okay, we'll start round 10. Uh, first person that will be going is Abivir. Abivir, your word. Give me one second. Your word has a homonym. I'll say the word and then provide the part of speech and definition. Your word is 
bow, bow. It's a noun, which means a branch of a tree. Bow. Um, can you put it into a sentence, please? Yes. The huge bow just barely missed landing on mom's new car. Bow. Mm. Could you repeat the word again? Bow. Can you repeat it one more time, please? Please make sure we can see your hands on your shoulders. Please move your camera down. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. The word again is bow. B O double or bow. B O W bow. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Next is Yug. Your word is cautioned. 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 C A U T I O N E D. Cautioned. Correct. Suma, your word is accuse. 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 A C C U S E. Accuse. Correct. Jemwell, your word is drowsy. 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 D R O W. S Y drowsy. Correct. Vaishvik, your word is scoff. Scoff. Can you give me the definition? To show contempt by derisive or derisive, sorry. To show contempt by derisive acts or language, to speak contemptuously or with ridicule or mockery. Scoff. Scoff. S C O F F. Scoff. That's correct. Um, we will move on to round 11, starting with Yug, I believe, right? Okay. Round 11. And I did get, I got the message about that. Your word is nutrients. 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 N U T R I E N T S. Nutrients. That's correct. Suma, your word is scarcely. 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 S C A R C E L Y. Scarcely. That's correct. Gemwell, your word is stretcher. 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 S T R E C H T. E R stretcher. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Vaish Vaishvik, your word has a homonym. I'll say the word, then provide the words part of speech and definition. The word is layers. 
it is a plural noun that means the beds or living places of wild animals, dens, the word layers. Layers, L-A-I-R-S, layers. That's correct. Moving on to round 12, starting with Yug. Yug, your word has a homonym. I'll say the word, then provide the words part of speech and definition. The word is mustard. It's a noun which means a pungent yellow condiment consisting of the pulverized seeds of the plant of the same name, either dry or made into a paste, as with water or vinegar, and sometimes adulterated with other substances, such as turmeric or mixed with spices. Mustard. Mustard. M U S T A R D. Mustard. Correct. Correct. Suma, your word has a homonym. I'll say the word, provide the part of speech and definition. The word is cruel, an adjective which means stern. Cruel. Hold on one second. Let me say the which uh, definition is stern, rigorous, and grim, unrelieved by leniency or softness. Cruel. Cruel, C-R-U-E-L, cruel. That's correct. Uh, Vaishvik, your word has a near homonym. I'll say the word and the part of speech and definition. The word is goblins, plural noun meaning ugly or grotesque sprites sometimes conceived as evil and malicious and sometimes as merely playful and mischievous. Goblins. Goblins. G-O-B-L-I-N-S. Goblins. That's correct. Moving on to round 13. And I got the message there. Um, it's not letting me to reply to the specifically to Miss Walters, but I'll let you know when I get the. Okay, so I did get that. Okay. Round one thir uh, <laughs> Round thirteen. Sorry, we're not on that many rounds. Starting with, I believe Yug. Yug, your word is incantations. 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 I N C A N T A T I O N S. Incantations. Correct. Next is Suma. Your word is ventured. Ventured. Ventured, V E N T U R E D. Ventured. Correct. Vaishvik, your word is. It has a near homonym, so I will say the word, provide the words, part of speech, and definition. Your word is feta, a noun which means a white cheese made of the milk of sheep or goats and cured in brine. Feta. Can you repeat the word? Feta. Feta. F-E-T-A. Feta. That's correct. We will move on to round 14. You... Your word is proverb. Proverb. Can you put in a sentence? A famous Japanese proverb runs, 
the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Proverb. Proverb. P R A B E R B. Proverb. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Suma, your word can be confused with a similar word. I'll say the word, then provide the words part of speech and def definition. Your word is indecipherable. It's an adjective, and it means that cannot be converted into intelligible form. Indecipherable. Indecipherable. I-N-D-E-C-I-P-H-E-R-A-B-L-E. -E -E. Indecipherable. That's correct. Vaishvik, Vaish your word is podium. Okay, podium. P-O-D. I-U-M, podium. Could you please repeat that? Sorry, it cut out for me. Could you please repeat that? Yes, podium, P-O-D-I-U-M, podium. Uh, I'm pretty sure I heard that that was correctly, right? Okay, yes, that's correct. All right, at this time, we'll move on to round 15. Okay, and this being the final uh, group of two, I want to explain really quickly how, final, how the final B works. Give me a second to scroll up so I can read it exactly. <laughs> End of B procedure. I'm reading this from the from the uh, rule rule book or document. It says if all spellers in a round misspell or answer vocabulary items incorrectly. So if none of you, if neither of you spells the remaining words at the start of a round, or if you spell, sorry, if none of the spellers remaining in the spelling bee at the start of a round spells a word correctly or answers a vocabulary item correctly during that round all remain in the competition and a new spelling round begins. So for example, if Suma spells the word apple wrong, but then Vaishvik also spells the word apple wrong, a new round begins and both of you are still in. In the event of ties, if all spellers are eliminated in the sound, same round are tied for the same place after the champion has been determined, uh, that, has no, that wouldn't apply to us, we have two left. Okay, since there are two of us left, if there are two spellers left in a round and the first speller spells a word wrong, the, ne the other speller who spelled the word correctly moves on to the next round and must spell a different word. If they spell that different word correctly, then they win. If they spell that word wrong, then I do believe it goes to it goes back to both of you being in. Does anyone have any questions about how that would work? Okay. Oh wait, I have a question. Yes. Do we have to say capitalizations of the word? I believe that we've been going by. It's okay if you if you forget to capitalize. Um, in the example of Canada, we uh, said that it was correct, but. If you do capitalize, you won't be marked incorrect in the example Frisbee, which is a brand word. So we mark that correct as well. Okay. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. All right. Um, let me just scroll back to where we were.
the last word we had spelled was podium. We will continue with Suma. Uh, and remember, hands on shoulders as we're doing this. Shoulders? Yes. Okay. Your word is Aztec. 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 Capital A Z T E C. Aztec. Correct. Vaishvik, your word is laboratory. 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 Go on. Laboratory. L A B O R A T O R Y. Laboratory. Correct. Correct. On to round is it 15? This is the start of 16. 16. 16. Okay. Thank you for counting. <laughs> I would not get it right ever. I have it on my trusty sheet here. So <laughs> thank you. Okay. Suma, your word is sinister. 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 S I N I S T E R. Sinister. Correct. Vaishvik, your word could be confused with a similar word. I'll say the word, provide the words part of speech and a definition. Mm -hmm. The word is runes, a plural noun which means characters of the alphabet relating to the ancient Scandinavians. Runes. Runes. R U N E S. Runes. Correct. <laughs> We'll move on to round 17, right? Okay. Suma, your word is ancestors. 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 A-N-C-E-S-T-O-R-S. -E ancestors. Correct. Vaishvik, your word is convulsive. 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 C O N V U L S I V E. Convulsive. Correct. Correct. Moving on to round 18. And I got the message there. Suma, your word is trough, 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 T R O P H, trough. Sorry, that's incorrect. Vaishvik, I believe uh, we just confer same word, right? Trough. Yeah. Trough. Okay. Okay. Trough. T R O U G H. Trough. Okay. That's correct. So at this point, I'll ask you a follow up word. Mm -hmm. And we're using the next word, right? Yes. Okay. All right. There's a near homonym, or there's a homonym of this word, so I'll say the word, give the part of speech and the definition. Mm -hmm. The word is leech. Leech. A verb which means to dissolve out by the action of percolating, by the action of a percolating liquid. Leech. Okay. Leech. L E. A C H leech. Okay. Congratulations, Vaishvik. Uh, you have won the spelling bee. Congratulations to both of you. Yeah, you both did a really great job. Those are not easy words. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank uh, you. We will, like we recorded the session, so we will we'll share this session with the rest of the school so that they can watch and enjoy. <laughs>
Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Gross. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, have a great day. Have a great day. Bye.